May 20th, 2020. Cameras documented the civil unrest that turned violent in the Fairfax district following peaceful demonstrations against police brutality. Three of the cameras rolling that day were worn by LAPD officers. This is a slowed down version of one camera released by the department. It shows CJ Montano getting hit in the head with a tactical round, which is a hard foam shaped plastic shell. I felt like I was uh, actually going to die. All the the vision in my left eye went out entirely. Montano quickly fell to the ground and got help from other protesters who pulled him away from officers who were advancing on a skirmish line. He was able to see out of his right eye. I looked and it, like everything felt warm and I had just blood all over my hands. The LAPD says its officers used tactical rounds to disperse the crowd because officers were being assaulted by protesters as a number of businesses were being set on fire. But Montano says he was not physically confrontational. In fact, he says he was trying to be a peace broker moments before he was hit in the head, which required him to be hospitalized. So I started talking to him. I was like, I'll go talk to the protesters throwing stuff. Uh, if you guys stop shooting us. And on July 1st, 2020, it was determined that LAPD's Force Investigation Division, also known as FID, would investigate this incident as a categorical use of force, unintentional head strike with an impact device. Montano's attorney says her client posed no threat and the video clearly shows him with his hands up. She says officers aren't supposed to aim for the head even with less lethal force. There's no way you can characterize this as unintentional. Montano says he's troubled by what he calls the militarization of the police after having served in the Marine Corps himself. Any veteran that truly deserves and in, in what's right for the country will support people's constitutional rights. Montano is suing the LAPD for unspecified damages and he is pushing to end the use of tactical rounds in First Amendment demonstrations. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.